Hello, darlings. <laughs> um, I've got my cup of tea here, and I was gonna just sit down and have a little time to contemplate what I wanted to do um, as far as like a morning routine, kind of getting the most out of the time that I currently have before I teach. And I thought instead of doing that by myself, I would include you with it. So if you want to, you know, change up your schedule a little bit and have some fun with life a little more, if you need some, if you just need to shake things up, you know, um, it was the summer solstice recently and it's just a, do, a new vibe. It's a nice, happy vibe. And so I wanted to just sit down and, and have a little time to do that. And my tea is done. So let's pour the tea. I'm having some um, Scottish Highlands. Is it Scottish Highlands or just Scottish breakfast tea? So let me just pour a little bit of that. This is how you do it, darlings. Oh, this is how I do it, at least. <laughs> so I put like two teaspoons of that loose leaf tea in my teapot here, and I let it brew for five minutes. And you just strain it. And then I've got a little bit of um, half and half today to pop in. So there we go. I'm excited for our little group class this month. We only had one. We're only having one, I should say. It's on Thursday. And the group classes are just some of my favorite things to teach. So I think I might want to plan some more of those. I've mentioned maybe doing like a left hand technique group class for the future. So maybe I will do that because my schedule is a little bit more flexible in the summer. However, to be honest, I have been so busy that I'm just feeling like I just want to have fun. <laughs> Girls just want to have fun. People just want to have fun. So that's kind of my main priority, but I want to make sure that I actually have, you know, enough time to have fun. So that's the main thing. So I'm going to write down, I've got my little notebook here. I plan lots of things in here. So for example, I've got what I want my teaching to be like, what I want my business to be, you know, the studio. What does the studio mean to me? gentle, inspiring, spiritual, soulful, fun, together, traveling, helpful, uplifting, fabulous, um, elegant, magical, musical, um, expression, human, violin, viola, art, fabulous. <laughs> um, and then I've got individual just kind of scribbled over here. And a little affirmation. I love teaching people who love to learn about music. And I've got a little graph of, you know, um, things that I have and just like a little idea of, of income things. So the money side of, of everything, you know, making sure that I can survive <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so, you know, everything revolves around my private studio. So that is the main the main juice of everything are the individual lessons that I teach each week and gosh those are just so special so and then from there I also do group classes like I've mentioned I've got the monthly class that we do at the end of the month you can join that on patreon FYI um, Patreon's kind of an extension of the of the studio so and if you want to say in the loop more <clears throat> patreon everything is violin viola masterclass whether it's Instagram YouTube website, whatever. Um, so they have a once a month get together where we have a cup of tea and, and play what we've been working on for each other, whoever would like to. And we can just, those who don't want to play anything can just listen and enjoy, have a little musical time with everyone. I also have the hour group class, Leopold Hour's Graded Course of Violin Playing. We're using that book and we're going through book one. I think I might always have that class because it's really helpful. Um, and then I'm thinking of doing an, an adding a left hand technique class that works just on, you know, getting the form, getting the pitch, going through all the hand patterns, 
Um, and of course, hand in hand with that would, would be um, intervals and, you know, getting your ear training and all of that. So, and probably scales as well. So, and by that, by at some point, I will have playlists of all of the scales available. So for violin, all the tutorials for how to play every single scale, whether it's sharps, flats, major, minor, um, and then vi viola as well, same thing. All tutorials for how to play major, minor, sharps, flats, everything. And then there's going to be also a playlist for just recording tracks if you just want to have a recording to hear what it sounds like. Um, for any instrument, I'll have those available as well. Currently, that's all available on Patreon. It's trickling out every month, every week. We study a different scale, but um, you know what? I need to make sure that I <laughs> have lessons to teach later. So, okay, we're doing good. Um, and then I've got the Patreon community. That's the next thing. So I've got individual lessons, group lessons, Patreon community. Um, and the Patreon community is places where I, I post things every week. I do little, right now we're setting all of the scales. Um, after that, I have to figure out what we're going to do. Something fabulous, of course. And then there's more of like the community base where we actually meet uh, monthly on Zoom in addition. So, and then, and then of course, the bottom um, and most, you know, accessible with the world is the YouTube community, the blessed YouTube community, you guys. You are awesome. And thank you so much for those of you that reach out because without you reaching out, none of this would be here. <laughs> so that's the main way people find me is actually through YouTube and it's wonderful. So anyway, creating content, doing live streams, um, doing little music lessons. I was thinking of doing like a live stream lesson, like a group class, basically the format that I teach a group class. It's just going to be a little tricky because I won't be able to see you. Um, anyway, just fun things, fun things that I, you know, like to do. Um, and then just thoughts about different classes and Patreon offerings. And then I've got even gotten this little thing, um, financial planning. You know, that's an interesting thing. I know this video is about planning like a morning routine, but I think it's interesting and maybe helpful to consider some of these other things. So financial planning as a 31 year old person, um, this is the time of my life where I am saving, 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 saving. And so it's been very helpful to have an, a financial advisor who's wonderful and he has helped me grow my investments just insanely. Um, so for those of you that are independent business owners, getting a self-employment pension, it's called a SEP account, self-employment pension. I fund that every month, that um, income that I take off of my monthly income that's um, it would be if I invest it, it's tax free, so I don't pay taxes on that income. So it makes my income look lower. So I'm paying taxes on a lower amount of income each month. But then when I retire, I pay taxes on that every time I pull it out. Um, and then I've got a Roth IRA that I max out each year. And then I also have another investment, non retirement account investment thing, and then just like a savings account. But recently I've been contemplating disability and life insurance and long-term care insurance and all that kind of thing. So, you know, just the financial planning, um, health savings account. So, um, yeah, just got to have thoughts about all of those kinds of things. And finally, oh, I've got thoughts about our actual first in-person group class that's in July, and I'm so excited for that. Um, last weekend, we went to see one of my dear students. She's like, I forget how old she is. She might be 12 or 13. She's such a sweetie pie. I've known her for many years at this point. And um, we went to see her performance of, of Frozen. I put that picture up on Instagram. She is such a sweetheart. And I'm teaching her the harp as well as the violin. She, you know, primarily has studied violin with me, but we're learning the harp together. And she's got a beautiful voice as well. It's just music theater nerd, you know. So seeing her in, for, in person for the first time in a year, you know, over a year was just really magical. I just <laughs> I felt like I was staring at her like this. And uh, we, we all had, we had our mask on because it was at her school. So anyway. Um, so, so yeah, doing a group class, 
with all of my students who would who want to come. We're going to be renting out a coffee shop that's local to me. Um, they in their off hours on the weekend they rent their space out, and so I've I have secured a deposit for that. I'm going to make sure we have lots of tea and coffee and treats and things there while we do our group class on a Saturday. And I think I'm going to have those in-person group classes every, if not every month, I'm going to start them every other month um, because at the moment I'm not able to, given where my students are all over the world, um, I can't just teach in person on a specific day <laughs> um, because everybody, I have some people locally that I teach on certain days and I have people that are not local that I teach on, you know, the same day. So it works best if I teach online from home. So anyway, I think to compensate that having a fun sense of musical community, which we've which we've created through meeting on Zoom um, every month, but meeting in person now will be really fun. And I think it might actually springboard to some fun things we can do as a studio to travel and maybe go to um, like musical events, whether it's festivals, competitions to, you know, watch the competitions and go to lectures and go to master classes and performances and just kind of like, you know, what is that called? Like hobnobbing with the the elites of the field. <laughs> you know, I think that would be fun. So one of the things we want to do as a studio is go learn proper Irish fiddle. So I could see us definitely going, you know, hopping on a plane as a studio and going to Ireland or meeting some of the, the other studio members that are in Ireland and having a little time with some Irish fiddle bands that would to just learn. I, that would be so fun. So fun. And anyway, so I think that there's there's fun musical community things ahead. But as far as me personally, I need to figure out a little bit better morning routine. So since January, and I did talk about this on Patreon, but since January um, 2021, I have changed my schedule around dramatically where I make sure that I go to sleep um, by 11. I'm usually in bed around like 1030 at the latest and then I read for 30 minutes. Um, at least by and I've been doing that pretty much since January really really like that so and then I wake up around 7 7 ish maybe 7 30 ish and after that I'll make my breakfast or a little cup of tea or whatever if I'm not hungry I'll just you know have some water but I immediately do my exercise so I have been exercising for about an hour sometimes an hour and a half I'm somebody I have a lot of energy <laughs> So if I don't do some physical movement and me just sitting here in a chair teaching all day is not enough physical mu movement for me. It's a lot of mental like energy, but I need to get that out. So doing exercises has been really, really helpful for me. I was going crazy. I didn't realize I was like, what is going on with me? Before the end of the year, I was just like, just I just felt like and none of my students would ever have known this, but I was, because teaching, you know, you're in the zone and you're happy and you're, you're in the, you're in the creation and learning phase. But as soon as I would turn that off, um, I would be like hit with all of the way that I was feeling. And I think a lot of it was just, I wasn't really moving as much. I didn't have a very good schedule. Um, I, you know, maybe wasn't sleeping well. I wasn't having enough fun, all of the, that kind of thing. So exercise has been very, very important. The main thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure, and this is easier now because my other half doesn't have his meetings here in the mornings, he's at work now. So I have more time that I can you know, play and practice any time now. So that is the thing. And I think what I might do now is I might just, I'm gonna write this down. So I think I will get out of bed. The first thing out of bed I'm going to go in here and grab my viola and I'm going to just do some open string work and I'll probably do some hand patterns and maybe some shradiac and then maybe just something fun. So, or whatever, like, you know, I could do some vibrato exercises, I could do some shifting exercises. I'm gonna just do like really basic things and I'll set a timer for 25 minutes. So not too long, but just a little bit. I'm gonna start with that. I can even have a cup of tea with a cup of tea because nothing can be accomplished without a cup of tea nearby. 
So I think that will be the first thing I do. I'm gonna try that starting tomorrow. <laughs> and then after that, I'll change into my workout clothes. So then I'll do my workout um, and get that out of the way. And then I'll um, get glam, gotta get glam. If you're not getting glam every day, I just don't know that you're living your fullest life <laughs> because um, your spirit has this vessel, right? And you can make it the most fabulous and magical and wonderful um, version of it. You know, take care of it lovingly, put some nice creams on it, make a little sugar um, coconut exfoliating scrub, get those crest white strips and wash your hair and put on some lipstick or whatever you want to do, you know, put on a nice outfit. And it just really, it's like um, fashion magic, <laughs> if you want to think of it that way. So getting glam is a very important part of my morning routine. And then probably I will eat breakfast. And then if there's time, I usually do a little cleaning as well. So I usually do a little bit of cleaning. Um, maybe some like businessy things. You know, I have emails I need to respond to, things I need to plan, um, lesson plans, all that kind of thing. Um, and then I might just practice a little bit more. However, I also like reading. I might do a little reading. I might um, go for a walk outside. Um, I'll just call this fun time. I need to have a little fun time. And then usually I go right into my lessons. So um, but there is a period of time where I need to plan my lessons. So I guess I can do that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to brainstorm and figure out. But I think that getting out of bed and then going to grab my instrument is a really awesome way to come into this dimension. So I think I might do that and um and then doing my workout and then getting glam and then just having fun basically for a little bit before classes excuse me i think that that would be a neat thing to do so yeah tell me what you what is important for you in your morning routine and did, what did i miss i probably missed something you know, having having some spiritual time is also a really important thing. I think I like to listen to uplifting things. Like if I'm listening to something, I'm usually trying to listen um, to something, not always, but like especially during the week, if you had like 10 times you're going to listen to something, five, six, seven of those times, I'm going to need to be listening to something that's uplifting my soul and my spirit and giving me inspiration. Um, so I like to listen. I like to listen to those kinds of things when I exercise. Um, or like things that make me laugh. So um, yeah, um, if I did miss anything, let me know. What are your thoughts? Do you want to come join any of the group classes? Check out Patreon. Um, please reach out because it is, it's, you know, the interesting and wonderful thing about YouTube is that it kind of attracts your tribe and you just meet some of the you're always going to meet somebody that you have something in common with in some way. And it's just really lovely. So if you resonate, reach out and we will be fabulous and connect and have a sip of tea once a month on Zoom, <laughs> for example. And talk about music and have some, some inspiration time. But anyway, thank you for watching this. I hope this was fun. Let's just make up a fun little song really quickly. Um, we'll put it in E flat major. I don't know what that was. It was definitely a wrong chord. I wasn't even planning on playing that, but it turned into some kind of Irish or Scottish or some that area of the world 
um, ballad or tune. So anyway, yay. Thank you for watching, you guys. Have a wonderful day. You are fabulous. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.